Warning. This game is rated M for Mature. This game involves acts of a violent nature, sensitive topics around sexual themes, and a very annoying talking bear. Viewer discretion is advised. Good morning, everyone. Hey. Oh, morning, Alakun. Uh, man, that was exhausting yesterday. It's my first time being up on stage like that. We say I had to do stuff like that all the time when she was working, right? I'd never be able to live like that. <laughs> this week we've got midterms. Uh, oh, hey, uh, we should have a study session with everyone else after school. We're on the same boat, right? Let's help each other out. What you're trying to say is that you need me <laughs> to help you because I'm the highest performing uh, person in class, right? That's right. Helping each other. Okay, so what I'm more saying is be helped uh, and be on the set of helping others, you know? Uh, come on, help those who are academically challenged. I'll invite everyone else, please. Sure. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> it was a girl this time instead of the, uh, the guy running. Now, please look, take a look at the second page of the handout. It's about Napoleon. Napoleon went on many military campaigns and needed something very specific. Napoleon had these made. Alan, would you stand up, please? What did Napoleon have invented? Now... They're trying to lead you in a certain direction of thinking, and you would think that this is like a very uh, easy answer, and it kind of is, but you're surprised at the answer either way. Uh, <laughs> Napoleon had glass jars invented, or at least the uh, the mason jars that we know that we know now, you know, where it's like the um, the flat bottom thick ones with like the screw, the screw caps, you know. That it were, you know, designed to like preserve stuff. Right, he made he made people invent glass jars. Napoleon went on a contest with a lot of reward money up for whoever would make a way to preserve food on long campaigns. Nicholas Appert submitted his method for canning food in 1804, paving the way for food preservation industry. It was a common misconception, but Napoleon was not involved with the actual invention of metal cans. The first canned foods were kept in glass jars. Tin or iron cans were invented in the in 1810 as an alternative to the heavier glass ones. The actual can opener, however, wouldn't be invented for another 45 years. For the invention of the can opener, soldiers would just use their bayonets to cope in the cans or smash them with rocks, which is why you have the classic depiction of the can with the lid like bent over backwards and it's got like the jagged edge onto it even though modern can openers like cut along the seat the outer seam of it to pop it off you know it's like it's why it looks like that is because you would cut open with a knife and then fold it back i've actually had to do that on several camping trips because i just didn't have a good method of opening them so midterm should start at the end of this week don't forget to review <sighs> okay. After school. Oh. oh. Hi, Nanako chan. Hi, Teddy. Hey, uh, Nanako, what are you doing here? Hey, greetings to you. Greetings to you. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Wow, everyone's here. So many people. Why did everyone come here? Exam study group. Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. That was so much fun. I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Nope, I'm a zoning out of this one. Oh, so jumping straight into math? Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... 
you know, that thing. Um, base by height by two. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh, lend me a hand too? Oh, um, I wouldn't know where to begin with second year's subjects. Ah, uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Don't call me useless. <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Naoto-kun riled up. You're pretty cute when you're angry. What? What are you talking about? Hey, uh... <laughs> hey, Yosuke. Uh, just imagine that there are other people nearby. Since we're in a crowded area in which people could overhear us. Imagine. They see the detective prince. And Yosuke sitting there going, huh, he's pretty cute. <laughs> I don't know, I just find that funny. That's it, I quit. This just ain't my thing. To hell with the exams. It's time for my animal crackers. Oh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin. Hands off the penguin. It's mine. Yeah. I, I, I knew Kanji um, would like the bird. Um, So there was a... <laughs> I can't remember what my favorite uh, animal cracker was. I think it was the rhino because it felt like that it had the most, the most material in it, you know? Uh, forget it. I can't think. Teddy says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. My life on this side is really fun. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. I even went to a place called the library, but I still can't find anything about me. Uh, Teddy, please stop. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. An idea? Oh, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. A special being? Wait, I just realized that Nanako is here, and this is all just going over her head. She's like, I'm eight, what the heck are we even talking about? I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. If you yourself know nothing about it, perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? It's from a while ago. I've always lived there, as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. Oh, that's right! Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this. I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey, I think Teddy must be a king. I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of the bad guy's curse. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? A king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. Teddy? A king? <laughs> I can see him wearing a cape. <laughs> Sheesh, Yukiko. You go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. I better not see, I better not see a teddy outfit where he's in a crown and regal attire. Please do not give this to me, game. Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Huh? What's with that face? Teddy really was a king. There were all these other kings too, and we all... Hey, he's talking about what happened at the club. Quiet, you not in front of Nanako-chan. 
Everyone left their seats to go buy drinks. <laughs> Am I really a king? Um, sorry to burst your bubble, but maybe not. Like, who knows? Mm. Then what am I? A prince? Well, to be fair, you... I don't know. <laughs> also, uh, the fact that a lot of what he was saying, it was like, you could just reinterpret it as he's a foreign exchange student from France. <laughs> Teddy's lost in thought, and it's like, I came from this other place, which human thought may be, um, may be related to things. And they're like, ah, oh, yes, France. I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. Oh, huh, that's nice to know. You sense Teddy's strong trust. <sighs> Dang it, my uh, audio mixer uh, freaked out again. I still have no idea why it seizes up like that. But like, it's not giving me any like clear readout right now, so I actively do not know if it's um if it's muted or not. I'm gonna hope it isn't. Up oh, there it goes. Nope, no, it wasn't. Uh, Teddy can now endure a mortal blow during battle. Big bro, Teddy, is melon soda okay? Oh, it is definitely okay. I want to try some of that. I had fun at Juness. Could work as a tutor today. What a great idea. First things first, we're gonna harvest our vegetables. Yeah, so they're not gonna make it so that like it makes your current thing of vegetables go one day sooner because that might accidentally push it. They look yummy. Yeah, it might accidentally push it um past ripe. We've you know? Got I also continue to forget to uh, check to see. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to plant all the wheat until I run out of wheat and then plant melon. If I run out of wheat for whatever reason, I'll just start planting melon. If I remember correctly, it's sometime in like uh, December or January that it's like, please stop planting things. It's starting to snow. <laughs> so we only got so many, uh, so we only got so many weeks to do this until we, uh, run out of time, you know? Five days? Neat. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, we're doing, um, tower. I'm gonna go quickly double check something and then we will, uh, we will go and do tower. Oh, hey Yosuke. What's up? Ah, uh, starting to finally cool down. If you're bored, we could talk for a bit. Eh, nah. Uh, when are we actually uh? See you later. Busy? Yeah. When are we actually finishing up uh? Finishing up his stuff because I wrote it down. We were done a while ago, but I don't think it's coming up soon. Not then. Not then. We're doing some weird janky stuff then. Uh, those are the midterm days. So we're doing kanji because we still have a lot to do with kanji. Um... Uh, Moon is going to be really interesting to go through. We're quickly doing Tower and Emperor, trying to finish them for this, uh, for her next, uh, dungeon, apparently. Uh, we finished Devil by the end of the month. Uh, it looks like that... The next time we're going to be doing anything with um, Yosuke is going to be <laughs> the very end of the month. That's kind of sad. Also, it turns out that I did, in fact, not grab sodas last night. So, gonna have to do that now, I guess. 
Oh, hey, I. What are you doing? Um, just walking around. Well, I got my shopping done. The clothes I ordered finally came in, and just relaxing now. I mean, if you're bored, I guess we can talk. Uh, sadly, no. Uh uh. What do you mean, uh uh? <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to grab sodas. Tap. Tap. Man, these are so much easier than uh, waiting 20 minutes to get a uh, a uh, single lottery win. Cool. How are you doing? Hey, brother. Living up with your friends? Yeah, I guess. That's good. Gotta take care of your buddies. If someone's in trouble, you help them. No questions asked. And if you're in trouble, don't wait around to get help. That's my advice as a guy who's been around the block. I'm guessing your co-worker didn't show up for drinking today, I guess. Wait, is this another mailbox? Why did I never notice that there was another mailbox over here? What? <laughs> That's just weird to me. Uh, either way, I'm going to go grab those sodas and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just grabbed the uh, sodas and now we can actually do this okay so we are in fact ranking up tower today <laughs> I was thinking it was gonna be a uh, really quick thing but it turns out it's actually gonna be a uh, a full level up okay let's do it grab myself some uh, sandwiches because this could be a longer recording session you two to chew oh I see the word that was omitted. So it's really saying that you begin to explain the sentence to him in, in an easily understood manner. The expression has increased. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm not that good with the English language. I can memorize what's in the textbooks and get good grades on tests, but I don't really understand it. Well, to be honest, I think most English speakers don't even understand English. <laughs> The teacher doesn't comprehend the difference between reading from a textbook and speaking to people. Teaching must be a great job. Even idiots can be ignorant when they know more than you do. They don't get what it means to learn it all. Uh, that's how it is for some teachers, <laughs> though. <laughs> I guess the student's value is equal to how well he scores on tests. Well, at least that's easy to understand. Sadly. <laughs> like... I've had, like, several discussions with uh, my dad in the past of, like, school only exists to perpetuate more teachers. They're like, hey, you're really good at taking orders and giving them back out. They're basically information in, information out. Uh, you would be really good as a, uh, you'd be really good as a teacher, because that's all they basically do. They take lesson plan information in, information out, onto the students, and the students have to repeat it. Yeah, it's kind of a... kind of a sad cycle, but school only really exists to create more teachers at some point. Never really a fan of school, to be completely honest. About the transfer student I told you about before, his grades are pretty good, but he just can't beat me. So then the rest of the class and the teachers made this face like that transfer student is no good after all. Like down on him. And yet he acts all big so everyone hates him lately. No one even talks to him. It's all so stupid. Why do I have to go to school when it's so obviously dumb? That place. I mean you're not the only one that kind of goes to that kind of thing. Or think these kind of thoughts. Oh, interesting. Oh, I see. Everyone goes to school against their will, I guess. Shu Thai thinks deeply on this. Shu thinks deeply on this. You also got me high looks fun, at least. I get that feeling when I see you. Oh, uh, but by, by the time I'm a first year, you would have already graduated. <laughs> then there's no point, huh? 
seems that Shu is slowly opening up to you. You feel that your relationship with Shu has deepened. Oh, <laughs> uh, the uh, the game took a uh, picture when his eyes were closed. I guess. Yeah. Oh, time's up. Uh, be careful going home today. Yeah, it's starting to get a little Please bit colder. Come back again. Yeah, sure. Um, see you guys tomorrow. Um, links down below to various things, including my streams. Uh, I do them occasionally. Uh, recently I just finished a, um, a whole playthrough of Portal 2, including the co-op stuff. Probably gonna um, upload a highlight reel of that, uh, <laughs> um, on the channel at some point, but who knows? Uh, at least I got them, like, all, like, downloaded this time and unlike uh, certain other projects I was doing. Um, either way, uh, leave a like and comment down below. Let me know how it's going on. Just tell me your thoughts. I always like hearing from other people. Um, see you guys tomorrow.